This is a video on how to create a webhook to send information from Zapier to Clio Grow. And so Clio Grow isn't very automation friendly with outside tools. So this is a way to send information from like your website, for example, or a funnel or you know a chatbot or something like that over to Clio Grow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this with a post webhook. So in Zapier, you do need to have a trigger set up. I just have Google Forms here. That's not really what this video is about. This is about setting up integration. If you want to learn about Zapier, this isn't the video for that, but this is a video if you have Clio Grow and you want to connect data with Zapier to it. And this does work with webhooks and other platforms, just so you know, we're just using using Zapier. So if you have make.com and you know one of the other platforms out there that does this, this uh, will work on other things. It's the same format. So we're going to look up webhook in here. You're going to see webhook by Zapier. And then you're going to see this. So event, uh, we're going to go post webhook. Click continue. Now from here, um, you're gonna see this information. Um, so you're gonna see URL, payload type, all these different things that need to get filled out. You don't need to know absolutely what all this stuff means. It's just like coding stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna do is um, pull up just a, a quick thing here so we can actually copy these over. All right, there we go. So you'll see here on this spreadsheet I have on the side, um, there's this information here. So what this pretty much means is this is the information that needs to go in a different section. So as you can see, the app is uh, webhook by Zapier. The event is post, which we already have set up. And then the URL is grow.clio.inbox slash leads. So we'll punch that in here. Uh, this video will also come with a corresponding article that you can have this. So you can have this information. You'll notice over here, the uh, payload type is JSON. Here we go. Then you'll realize um, in this area of the spreadsheet, you'll see data. These fields need to get entered in the exact way they appear on here. Even like the uh, like lowercase matters and you don't want to add, a, add an extra space or anything anywhere. So we're gonna add this stuff in. That's, uh, we're gonna paste that in. Um, sorry about that. So um, I'm actually gonna pause the video and just add these in because it's gonna take a little bit longer and then we'll finish it. Okay, so we now have the fields added in. And pretty much what this is, is this corresponds to the data that's in Clio Grow. So more or less this specific text is telling the coding in Clio Grow how the information needs to be received. So it's very important it gets added in. Even if you have like an extra space like that, it won't work. So really simple though, it's not, not too crazy. If you just click on it, you can notice there's not a bunch of extra spaces in it. So what you're gonna do now is, um, you know, in this example, I don't have the data here from Zapier to uh, to pull up, but normally in Zapier, you'd be able to pull the data out. Um, I'm not necessarily going to do that here just because that's not really the purpose of the video. Just so you know, every field in here needs to be filled in. So you have to fill this in with all this. And one thing really important here is the inbox lead token, which I'll get to in a second. So scrolling down, there are a few more things that need to get set up, right? You'll notice on the sheet over here, it says accept and then application slash JSON. So for example, you'll see here, so this is the webhook telling Clio what type of information to, to receive, pretty much what this is. And you don't have to know all about coding or anything, just follow the directions on here. And one very crucial thing in here that I do not want you to, to miss is, is this. So there's the inbox lead token this is the identifier for which CRM the data is going to get get added to. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, move over to Clio Grow right now and show you where to get that. Okay, so we're in Clio Grow now. Uh, just so you know how you get to the screen is you click the settings icon, click where it says integrations, and what's blurred out under here is the inbox token. You can just click copy and you'll be able to copy it from there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Clio Grow, the webhook, and you need to paste that into here. Okay, perfect. So underneath this blurred area is the web is, is the token from it. They call it a token. And it's pretty simple to find. So this is pretty much like if you think about if you're sending mail to a post office, this is like the P.O. box number is the way to understand it. Now, everything else in here, you're going to need to add information into. Some of it will be standing information as like the referring URL, the source, that type of thing, but you need to fill it in all like that. So this is kind of the setup. 
So um, if you have any questions, feel free to email support at immigrationfinder.com. We're happy to help you with this. And if you're an immigration lawyer who wants to build your practice up and automate things a bit more, uh, feel free to go to immigrationfinder.com slash schedule in order to, uh, yeah, learn more about this and see how it can integrate into your business. Bear in mind, if you're actually setting this up, this is not enough information for it. You will need to have an actual trigger, which is uh, you know some type of app that whenever some type of submission of information triggers this to happen, and then these fields will need to be filled in. That's not what this video is about, is filling that in. This is just about how to set it up.